Hi, I'm Jess from Sun Valley Trading Co. We're the distributors in Australia for cowboy and high-tech industrial sewing machines and accessories. This video is about the Conodyne HM750L servo motor. They come with an instruction manual, but we'll just go over some of the basic things that you may need to know. There are a lot of parameters and functions in these motors, but you won't need to change 99% of them. So the power switch is just on the side of the control box here, the red button. And as power comes on, the red light illuminates on the screen. The plus and minus buttons, if you press them, this readout on the screen is the maximum RPM that the motor is currently set to. This can be adjusted using the plus and minus buttons. It goes from 300 all the way up to 3000. And this is the maximum RPM that the motor will run at if you put your foot flat to the floor. So if you want to do slow sewing and say you're just a beginner and you don't want it to be um, going very fast, you just wind this down to 300 and then no matter, put your foot flat to the floor and it won't go any faster than 300. So that is the setting that it will be running at here at the motor. Um, that is geared down and the actual sewing speed that you will get will depend on if you have a speed reducer installed in conjunction with the servo motor and also the size of the flywheel on your sewing machine. To enter the parameters, press the P and the plus button simultaneously. There is a list of all the parameters in the manual. There's probably only two that you may need to do anything with. Um, so function two is the rotation direction of the servo motor. On a setup like this, where the motor is opposed to the flywheel, the parameter needs to be zero. If you had the motor the other way around, that it was parallel with the sewing machine, um, you would run it at one. Um, so on this sort of setup, we want it at zero and we press the S to save and then the S to exit. The other function that you may need to use is the needle position setup, which can be activated in here. The parameter is 26. edit with the P button. So zero is off and one is on. So to use this function, you have to have a needle positioning device, uh, which it's readily available. You can purchase them through me um, or with your sewing machine or as an additional accessory. They fit onto most machines. Um, they just go onto the end of the flywheel and they can be calibrated so that when you lift your foot to stop sewing, the needle will automatically either stop with the needle up or the needle down, depending on how you set it. Um, so if you want to turn it on, it needs to be one here, so you press S to save, to S to exit. And notice now that this light has become illuminated here. Uh, so at the top, that means that the 
needle will stop in the up position when you lift your foot is press the P button to change it and the needle will then stop down. So this only works if you have the needle positioning device installed on the sewing machine but they are readily available and if you want one just let me know. Um, so you don't have one on this machine so I'll just turn that off um, because sometimes if you have it on and then try to sew it'll come up with an error saying that it can't find the synchronizer um, so we'll just turn it off say exit in the back of the instruction manual there is a list of the error codes um, the er and a number which will come up on the screen here if an error is detected a lot of the time um, it can be a matter of just turning it off and turning it on again or turning it off, unplugging the cables at the back of this box here, plugging them back in again, making sure they're all um, in securely and then turning it back off, on again. That will usually resolve the problem. Um, one other common problem that comes up is just if the um, presser foot, hip and arm hasn't been set quite right and the um, activator isn't touching when it's in the idle position. But if you have any problems that you can't work out through that, just let me know. These are a brushless servo motor. They run very quietly and there's no noise at all when they're in idle. Um, they'll run from 300 RPM to 3000 RPM and they are 750 watts which is plenty of power for these industrial sewing machines. Uh, I install them on all of my machines at the moment. When you finish sewing you just switch it off with the red button on the side and it's quite normal for there to be things flash up on the screen and eventually it'll just um, the lights will go off on the screen. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please let me know.